What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today I'm excited to start a brand new series to the channel, and that is a Create a School series. The Create a School video that I posted a, about a year or so ago is one of my biggest videos to date. Now, apparently, people seem to really enjoy that stuff. So I thought it was a good idea to do a bunch of videos on a bunch of creative schools, and that way you guys can use those videos to create them on your end. And it sounds like it'll be a whole lot of fun. I'm going to use Instantly 06 as my base game to do a lot of this stuff. I'm pretty sure the creative school feature is the same throughout a lot of the PS2 games. But either way, this should be a whole lot of fun. I'm really excited because there's a lot of opportunities with this. There's so many teams, Division 2, Division 3. I also want to create pro teams, old school USFL, XFL, AAF, you name it. I think it'd be pretty cool to do a bunch of videos on them. Now, I'm a bit of an OCD guy. Now, when I want to re replicate a team, I want to get it down as exact as I can, down to where the press box is at at the stadium. Is it on the east side, the west, or, you know, you know what I'm saying? So at least you'll have something to work off of. So let's get right into it. I thought it'd be a great idea to start off with Coastal Carolina. The Chanticleers, they were the big story of last season. They're a lot of fun to watch. They got cool uniforms, cool jersey colors, all that good stuff. So let's get right into them. Now, I will also display a bunch of real-life images. That way you can compare and see where I got my ideas from. Because, again, I want to get as exact as possible. So let's get into it. All right, their primary color is this teal look. I just went and picked one of the greens that were kind of close to that. I went to edit, and you can find their RGB colors online, and this is their exact color, the 0, 111, and 113. And the same with their secondary color. It's like a brownish beige look, and that is a 162, 119, and 82. You never have to bother with the brightness. It automatically adjusts itself. And the rest of your creative school uh, feature will work off those two colors. All right, now a Chanticleer is a rooster. It is not a cardinal. I tried for the life of me to find some type of logo in this game. They gave me a rooster of some sort, a chicken of any sort, and they're just not one in here. I did not want to go with a boring letter or a Greek letter. I want to get as close as I can to the actual logo. And this one is kind of close, I'm not going to lie. It is not a chicken, but at least it's facing in the same direction. The beak is, you know, the same color and all that good stuff. So I went with the Colonel. Now, the nickname, you just type that in. That's Chanticleer. So the school name is Coastal Carolina. Abbreviated name, I went with Basic CC. I wanted to use Coastal, but I didn't have enough letters to use. So we just went with CC. They are from Conway, South Carolina. When you go to state and you select that state, you can move this around. I don't think this really matters when you actually move this. I wish it'd be cool if it like affect recruiting, but I don't think it does. But Conway Sarah Kleiner is about in this spot right there. Playbook, it's up to you however you want to put this. I went with the Florida playbook only because Florida is one of the few playbooks that's got all shotgun formations. And uh, Coastal Carolina runs a shotgun heavy option offense. So that's what I went with. Team type, middle of the road. It doesn't matter if you, you know, I just went, you could change this however you want. But I went with middle of the road. Rival school. Now, Coastal Carolina is kind of a brand new school. I mean, I think they're in their sixth or seventh season of a, as a football program. I went with a Sunbelt school that they played last year, and I just went with Troy. Now, with their fight song, I actually looked it up and listened to it. For the first five seconds, it's got a good little drum rhythm beat going. Then it gets right into the song. Rutgers, MTSU, and UCF fight songs are pretty close, or Utah State, I should say, are really close to that. I went with Rutgers. I, it's a very small thing, but again, I'm OCD. I at least want to try to get close. Mascot, when it comes to this, all it shows is actual mascots from the game, and you're not going to find a teal chicken anywhere among those. So I just went with none. Next up is their stadium. Their stadium is called Brooks Stadium. It holds 21,000. And it's a bit of a horseshoe, as you'll see on the image. Now, the only horseshoe option we have in this game is like a 68,000 seater, like this one right here. But their stadium isn't that big. So I went with the closest one, which happened to be the dual size of 20,000. 
The orientation of the stadium is north and south, and their scoreboard and video screen are both in the south end zone. Press box is on the east side. When it comes to field surface, if anybody who's watched Coastal Carolina knows, they have a teal football field. We can't do a teal football field in this game. The closest that makes it look halfway decent to go along with their uniforms is artificial. So that's what I went with. You can go blue, but it looks terrible. For them, at least. Midfield logo, I went with their base logo. That's what it is on their football field, at least as of the last image that I saw. 25-yard logo, they didn't have one. Their end zones are pretty cool. Uh, they got the, the brownish-beige background with the teal Coastal Carolina uh, letters. So that school name one and the secondary is my end zone background. They do not have a track around their stadium, around their field. And I went with a campus backdrop. Now let's talk about the uniforms. Now, Coastal Carolina has a ton of options, uniform combinations. It's ridiculous. In 06, you got four. You got two home and two road. So if you feel like adjusting something, there's nothing stopping you from creating a dynasty with Coastal Carolina. And if you're tired of using a couple of those uniforms, you can go switch them out and get back to your dynasty and they'll be updated. So you have that option. But I'm going to give you the four, I guess, the most popular ones that I kept seeing. And we'll start off with this one right here. It's the all-teal uniform with a black helmet. So we can go back up to the very top. Everything on the helmet is black, and I have a logo on both sides. And I went with the single stripe logo, but the stripe down the middle is black. Again, I should have an image to the side showing you how close it is to the real thing. They don't do pride stickers, jersey type. I just went with classic. For this one, they didn't have any crazy stripes on the uniform, so I just stuck with that. Jersey color, of course, is teal. Shoulders and sleeve, uh, the shoulder numbers are actually on top of the shoulders. Number style. This is the closest as I could find to that font. Now, let's talk about the number style name and outline color. As you can see, their actual uniform has black numbers with white borders. I went the exact opposite because for those of you who've created schools in 06, it's when you do anything that's not a really dark color for a border, it, it has a bit of a rendering issue. So I just flipped that and I went with the white numbers with the black outline. Trust me, when you go to the game and actually play it, it looks a whole lot better than the other way around. They do not have a chess logo. The only one in real life they use is like either like the Sun Belt conference logo or like an Under Armour logo. The only logos you could put on the uniform are the actual school logo itself. So I went with none there. Player name is on. Shorts, uh, the plant, the pants style, I went with short stripe. I went with the white. Now, there, this particular uniform actually is like a double stripe, but it's still short. I cared more about the stripe being short as opposed to it being long. So I just went with the straight white for that one. Pants color is teal, and the stripe is white. Hip logo for this particular one, we do not have one. Belt color, I stuck with the same color as the pants. Sock style, medium. The color of both the shoe and the sock is all black, as you can tell. Now let's talk about their, I guess, most popular away uniform. Now, again, if you want to, you can switch out the pants, change, change it to black or to white. You can get pretty creative pretty easily and still keep that updated for dynasties. The biggest difference here is the helmet at the very top. We can go back here. It's all white with the logo. Here is where things get a little bit different. You'll notice that they have a skinny teal stripe on both shoulders. And the way I've done that, I went with the triple shoulder. There are technically, if you can see to the right, there are technically two colors there. I went with, the for sleeve stripe one, a white. And then for the middle stripe, I went with the teal. That's how I was able to get the skinny stripe. Shoulder sleeve, the sleeve numbers are on the side this time. The style number is still the same as it is on the home uniform, the default one. And this is another case where the real uniform, it's reversed. It's got black numbers with a teal border. But trust me, it looks a whole lot... No, I take that... Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is actually correct. This is what it's supposed to look like in real life. I about got that confused with something else. They do have a teal color uh, number 
with the black outline. They do not have a chest logo for this one either. Player name on, pants style. It's no different than the default home. No hip logo, belt color's the same. We're sticking with the socks at medium, but their socks and shoes are both white. Okay, now let's look at a couple alternates. This is their other main home uniform. I thought this one was pretty cool. The helmet is the same as the default home. It's all black with the logo. This time, as you can tell, I it's the triple sleeve for the all black uniform. And I went with the teal for the sleeve stripe one. Maybe what I could have done, I didn't think about this. I could probably do that. I think that actually comes out a little bit better. I think that's actually close to that. So that's what we probably will go with right there. And uh, shoulder sleeve, uh, shoulder numbers are on the top. And number style, this is going to be a key difference. You'll notice that they use a different font style for the all black uniforms. It's your more classic font. So that's what I went with. But you also notice that they have green or the teal numbers with the white border. Again, I went exact opposite because it just comes out a whole lot better on the back end. Now, no chest logo, player name is on. Pants style, they didn't have anything crazy on their pants, so I just went straight black. If every bit of that, and the shoe and socks are all black. Now, last but not least is what I like to call the Stormtrooper uniform. This was like their other main away uniform. I think it looks pretty cool. The It is no different at the top from Jersey, the helmet, with the other away uniform just want to make sure you see all, all, everything i have here again it's no different than what you saw on the other away uniform the only difference is the pants when you get down to the pants i went with the plane because the one that i noticed it was plain but they actually had a hip logo you can see the hip logo it's on the left and everything else was white going forward so those are the four main uniforms Okay, here are the default home and away uniforms. We can zoom in here, and you'll notice how the numbers look a little bit better if you just do a black border with the white numbers, as opposed to the other way around. If you do the other way around, it just doesn't come out as well, so that's why I made that decision. But as you can see here, look pretty sweet if you ask me. I like the cool, the teal color is just awesome looking. Okay, then you can go over here and look at... Their away uniforms, just really neat. I really like them. Not bad at all. And that guy's rocking the, the ultimate, the old school face mask there. But pretty sweet looking, to say the least. And here is the alternate home uniform. I'm liking the look of it. Again, I went with the white numbers and the darker border. It just pops better. I think it just stands out more than if it was the teal with their bad rendering issue on the border. Looks pretty cool. I like the shoulders. I think that came out really well. And the whole black uniform in general looks really slick. Now you can go to the alternate away uniforms. These are the Stormtrooper uniforms. That's what us uh, Tennessee fans like to call them. I really like the looks of it. I like that type of font style as well. Really nice. Now let's look at the stadium as a whole. Here is our logo. Pretty slick. It's not a chicken. It's not a Chanticleer, but it's kind of close. What I do like is the artificial turf is kind of close to the same color as that. So I think that came out quite nicely. Then you got Coastal Carolina end zone. Pretty cool. The other end zone is the same thing. We can go over here and check it as well. As you can see there, Coastal Carolina. Now what we can do is check out the rest of the stadium. We can go right here in the middle of the field. And it's just another two-sided field, really a stadium, really small. But you got the press box on the east side with the video screen and the scoreboard in the south end zone with the campus all around the stadium. So for those of you who like this but really don't want to put in all the time to making this down to exactly the way I have it or at least get close, I will be offering this file and be putting it on the store for those who want that. If you have a uh, an action replay device where you could transfer it to a PS2, 
or for all you emulator guys out there like myself, this is an easy thing just to put in there into one of your uh, virtual memory cards. Uh, it'll be on sale for a couple bucks. That way you're just paying for the convenience of not having to put all the time in to making it look exact. All right, I hope you enjoyed all this. I'm really enjoying it. I think this will be a really cool series to get into. I have a really uh, bunch of cool ideas in terms of I'd like to create a bunch of the NFL teams, old school USFL, XFL, arena football, a bunch of Division II schools, Division Three. you name it, we can create it. And if you have any type of request that you want me to kind of get to first, I can do that. I'll do my research. Hopefully by the end of this video, you've noticed that I put a quite a bit of time into it to at least get close to what Coastal Carolina would look like if they were built into NCAA Football 06. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.